In New York, we are lucky, we are blessed to have 13, which has been bringing groundbreaking television to audiences for 50 years. And as with the New York Times, it has provided a vast array of news, history, arts, and culture to audiences throughout the region. But I'd also like to take a moment to acknowledge another New York institution so important both to the New York Times and to making this broadcast of Shakespeare Uncovered possible, to Howard Milstein and the Milstein family. Howard is a great Howard, as we all know, is a great philanthropist and civic leader and entrepreneur. He and his family have left their own mark on our city through their philanthropic leadership in the worlds of arts and culture and education and medicine. At the Times, we are very, very proud to support this moment in the Milstein family's long litany of good works. So Howard, thank you. Thank you. But I want to join all my colleagues here and add my special thanks and admiration to Howard and Abby Milstein and the Milstein family for their extraordinary support of 13 over many, many years. The Milsteins have a long history of nurturing the country's most important cultural institutions. For instance, they're helping the New York Public Library establish its ambitious Central Library. And their support of the American Museum of Natural History is helping ensure that institution thrives as a center for learning. They've made a commitment to ensuring arts, culture, and educational opportunities are available to everyone. And they truly understand the important role WNET plays in making that happen. Over the years, the Milsteins have been generous supporters of some of our most memorable productions. They've supported a number of important programs about the Jewish experience, including Heritage, Civilization, and the Jews, the Jewish Americans, and the Jews of New York. And in 2013, Howard and his family are helping us create three landmark series, Shakespeare Uncovered, Henry Louis Gates Jr.'s upcoming The African Americans, Many Rivers to Cross, and Simon Shabba's The Story of the Jews and the Fate of the World. This kind of sustained interest and support over a period of 30 years and two generations is, to say the least, remarkable. It reflects the vision and leadership of Howard Milstein and the entire Milstein family. We at WNET, and I'm sure the audience here, applauds you very much. Howard, please come on up. Well, I'm blushing. <laughs> Thank you, Neil, for that very kind introduction. It's a special pleasure to launch this PBS series in the home of the New York Times, the newspaper of record not just for New York, but for the entire global community. It's great to see Arthur and meet Mark. Mark, congratulations and best of luck in your new role. Nights like these, where we gather to celebrate the hard work and accomplishments of a devoted team are among my favorites. So first and foremost, I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone at 13 WNET and the wonderful Shakespeare Uncovered team who have poured so much creativity, commitment, and hard work into this endeavor. As those who know me well can attest, brevity is not my forte. Yet with such a wonderful program awaiting us, I'm going to be brief and simply touch on why it is such a privilege to be able to support public television programs uh, and programs like Shakespeare Uncovered. Unsurprisingly, Shakespeare is able to put my thoughts into words more beautiful than I can muster. In his comedy, Twelfth Night, named for the last of the Twelve Nights of Christmas, which occurred just two nights ago, Cesario, who is really Viola, rebukes Olivia quite stiffly for excluding herself from human relationships. Cesario tells Olivia, quote, what is yours to bestow is not yours to reserve. Like so many of Shakespeare's words, this deceptively simple sentence contains a multitude of layers, including three particular insights I'd like to highlight. The first is about philanthropy. This quote, what is yours to bestow is not yours to reserve, implies a sense of duty to the greater good. Those who can bestow must. My wife Abby and I feel very <laughs> fortunate to be in a position to give of our resources to meaningful projects and causes. The second is about the mission of public television. Culture and cultural knowledge, when bestowed on others,
can greatly enhance their lives and even give a deeper meaning and purpose to them. Public television is one of our society's primary mediums for sharing cultural knowledge. It's essential to produce, preserve, and promote diverse cultural learning in society, a cause for which 13 WNET should be richly celebrated. The third insight is about Shakespeare himself, a man who teaches us those first two lessons so effortlessly while weaving them into a tapestry of brilliant comedy and timeless wisdom. Shakespeare is a treasure, and those who devote their lives to studying, acting, or directing his plays deserve the opportunity to share their labors of love with a vastly broader audience. Tonight, as you watch the program, you become a part of that process. Abby and I are so happy to be able to share this experience with each of you. So thank you to everyone in attendance, and particularly my mother, Irma, who's here with us. And please enjoy the program.